Hello, and welcome to Holy Crafts, the show where we help you draw closer to holiness. I'm Uncle Sam, and today we're going to be learning about St. Joseph. And we'll be doing a craft of the chaste heart of St. Joseph. Let's get started. In the Catholic Church, there are two feast days dedicated to St. Joseph. On March 19, we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph, husband of Mary. Then, on May 1st, we celebrate St. Joseph, the worker. Why is St. Joseph so important? Well, he was chosen by God to be Jesus' earthly father and the head of the Holy Family. When Jesus was young, he learned how to work, how to pray, and how to be a man from St. Joseph. Since St. Joseph provided for and protected Jesus and Mary, he is one of the most powerful saints ever known. We can ask him anything. Although he was not sinless like Jesus and Mary, he is known to have a pure heart. We know this as the chaste heart of St. Joseph. Now that we know that, let's make our own chaste heart of St. Joseph prayer pocket. All right, so we're going to start with a white piece of paper. And instead of just one, we're gonna use two. Now we're going to make sure they're both lined up and we're going to fold both right in the middle but we don't want to crease it too much then we're going to take our pen or pencil and we're going to draw a half of a heart. So we're just going to go up and around. It's almost like a butterfly wing. It's like a big letter C. And then on the very top, we're going to do the flame above the heart. And it's going to be a curve. We're going to go in and then back up. Now we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut both pieces of paper to make sure they're nice and lined up. And we're going to cut right in the middle. Make sure it's folded. All right, I'm going to cut out the whole piece, everything that I drew. Go all the way around the heart. Now we're going to make the opening. On one of the hearts, we're going to fold it right in the middle. That shows us where the crease is. And along the crease, we're going to cut straight across. Great! Now we have our opening. It looks like a little pocket. Now on the very front, we're going to be decorating the pocket by drawing lilies. St. Joseph's heart is known to have lilies right on the front. So the easiest way to draw a lily is to first draw an X and then right in the middle draw a straight line. So it almost looks like an asterisk, like a star. 
once you have your three lines, then we're going to draw little V's. The V's are going to be connected to the lines. I'm going to go all the way around so that all the V's connect to the lines. Great! Now I'm going to draw three little lines in the middle to look like the pollen inside the lily. And there we go! Now I'm going to do a second one on the left side. I'm going to do an X and then a horizontal line in the middle. Then I'm going to start with a V on the bottom and just continue all the way around. And then don't forget the pollen in the middle. Alright. Now I'm going to do one more on the right side. Start with an X and then a line in the middle. And then do all the V's all the way around. Great job! It looks awesome! Alright, now we're done with the lilies! Now that we're done with the drawing part, it's time for the coloring part. Go ahead and get your crayons or markers, and let's color the chaste heart of St. Joseph. Wow, that's really colorful. I'm going to use a lot of red for the heart. Alright, now that I'm all done, I'm going to take out my stapler and I'm going to staple all the edges. Once all the edges are stapled, then I'm going to take out my marker and I'm going to write Saint Joseph comma pray for us. So that reminds us, every time we put in a petition or a prayer intention, we would say, St. Joseph, pray for us. Now what I did is I cut out little strips of paper in order for me to write down small intentions that I think about throughout the day. On my first one, I'm going to write, please help us find a house. Since Uncle Sam and his wife are trying to find a house, he's going to write a prayer intention to St. Joseph to help him find a house. Great job! This looks amazing! Alright, 
so I decided to put my Chase Heart of St. Joseph prayer pocket on my fridge. That way, whenever I pass by, I'll remember to pray to St. Joseph for my special intention. Now don't forget to pray to St. Joseph every day for your special intentions. Well, that's all we have for today. But until our next Holy Craft, I'm Uncle Sam reminding you to draw closer to holiness. Bye!